What's going on guys? My name is Jake with RW Carbon. Today I'm going to show you how to remove and replace your OEM gloss black F32 grills and replace them with carbon fiber ones. And uh, in this case today we're going to be working on an F36. So uh, it's a pretty simple install. First things first, you're going to need to just pop your hood. Once that's done, you're going to take off this little weather strip in here. It just comes right off, it just clips onto this little ridge right here. And the tools for the installation are pretty minimal. All you need is a Torx wrench. You're going to need two Torx heads for these. They're two different sizes here and here. The size on the end are going to be, or the middle ones are a T30 and the end ones are T25. And then you can use a flathead if you feel like you need to. You don't exactly need one for the bottom tabs. It just kind of gives you a little more assistance. So once you get the weather stripping off, the next thing you're going to do is just start taking out these torx bolts. Once all those are out, all you're going to do is you see these little there's these little clips here that kind of hold the plastic piece to the body. Give it a pull back, it'll slide out, and then that'll give you access to these tabs on the grills. So, for reference, so these are the ones we're going to be installing, and there are tab there's a tab on the side all the way around except for this part kind of just clips in really easy. You don't really need to mess with it too much. Um, so I like to get in here with my hand first and I'll just press down on the tab with my thumb and kind of pull back with my other hand so it'll slowly start to loosen up. And as you can see I got once you get one out then the next the next ones are just easy they kind of follow along. And as long as you're not putting too, too much pressure, it's not going to damage the, bump, the bumper. You kind of just want to keep it, if you just got your arms length in here, it should be totally fine. As long as you're not making any aggressive motions. Looks like this one. So it's as simple as just getting under there and pushing those tabs and feeding them out. So like I said, I like to get on that first one, get some back pressure with this, with this hand, and then just keep moving along, and it just wants to come out the more you, each tab you put out. Sweet. Simple as that for removal. And the installation is actually easy because <laughs> all you got to do is just pop it in. Just make sure your stuff lines up. Make sure they're all in the right receptacle and then just give it a push and she's in there. Same thing, just line them up. And that's it. And then for putting the bumper back in the correct place, a common mistake is you kind of want to make sure it's the same distance as it was before or this line is going to be either too tight or too wide once you finally close the hood. So what I like to do is I'll kind of just look at where the washers were and when I re-screw it in I'm trying to get it right where the washer footprint was. So that way it's kind of just in the general uh, orientation that it was when I took it off. So kind of just get those clips nice and secure. And I like to do the middle first, the middle ones first, because usually if there's going to be an issue, it's more than likely one of the ends. And it's easier to just take out one screw instead of all the other one. 
when I'm putting them back in, as I was saying, I try to get it so that washer is right back in the same place, that footprint, because then it's going to be in the same position that it was before you, un before you unscrewed them all. Might be okay though, it looks pretty good. Alrighty, once all your screws are back in, you're just gonna take this weather stripping and it's orientated, the, this longer piece is gonna be covering the screws and then this ridge, it's gonna go right into this uh, clip right here. And the way to set it up is I kinda look at it and give it about an inch or two on each end tucked under this. Sometimes you can see a little footprint from like just the, the wear and tear of it being on the car. You can see it cut off like kind of right here. So I kind of just put it, it doesn't have to be perfect as long as it's both tucked under. Then you just push it over. It takes a little bit of force, not too much at all. Alrighty, once that's back in place, you can close the hood and check out your gap. And in this case, it looks pretty good. So you're kind of just looking visually to see if it's tighter right here in one spot or bigger in one spot. And in that case where say if it's pinched, then all you'd have to do is loosen the screws and then just play around with this a little bit and get it to where you like it. But that's it right there. That's the F32 grill removal and installation. Thanks for watching guys.